Hey, it's Anaya from Glam Graphics. Today I'm gonna show you how to create your own thank you cards. First, I'm starting off on Canva um, using the postcard size. If you're new to Canva, use the link in the description to create a free account. We're starting with the background and I'm gonna go to photos and type in full background. And then I'm gonna scroll down until I find the one that I like. I ended up going with this teal color. Take the background that you choose and resize it so it fits. Now that we've done that, I'm gonna add the black box and do the middle part. I'm going to elements and then shapes and just selecting a square. I'm going to resize it and change the color to black. Now that I've done that and the sizing looks right, I'm going to go back to lines and shapes and choose the square outline and then make that white. Now we have the base of the front of the card and we're about to do the back before we start adding everything else. The back is pretty simple. All we're doing right now is just adding the teal full at the top and the bottom and then adding a white line for the border. I'm adding my lines and I'm changing the weight to eight. Now that we have the base for the front and the back, we're gonna start adding everything so we can finish up. I'm gonna go to text and add a heading. And then I'm gonna change that heading to the holiday font. And all I'm doing is just going back and forth and looking at the original so I can make sure I'm doing everything right. Now I have my first part of the text and the font is holiday and the size is 90. For the second part, I'm just gonna duplicate the thank you, change the font and change the sizing down to 60. As you can see, I'm gonna have to go through and fix the spacing on the text. The letter spacing is gonna be 190 and the line spacing is gonna be 0.88. And remember, all of this doesn't have to be exact unless you're copying exactly what I'm doing. But these are just the numbers that I use and the fonts and different stuff that I use, but you can definitely make it your own. Now it's time to start on the back. I'm gonna duplicate the text off the front and change it to say tag us. The sizing is 16.9 and the letter spacing is 287. I'm copying the thank you off the front of the card again. Work smarter, not harder. I'm gonna change that to the text on the back, the we love, and resize it.
the size is 67.7 and I know these are weird numbers but when I had made it I just did what I did and I'm trying to keep it all the same so it looks as close as possible if you round the numbers up it'll probably be fine like if you use 68 it probably won't make that much of a difference I'm using the same font as the tag as part. I'm gonna duplicate it, uh, change the spacing to zero and resize it to use for the selfies. Right now I'm placing everything in its general area, but I'm not gonna be able to see the full picture until everything is on there. So, don't trip if it's not looking what it should be looking like because once everything's on there we're gonna go through and make sure everything is placed right and the spacing is good and all that now that i have the main text for the back i'm going through and grabbing the pictures and the other elements i need the pictures came from pinterest and the iphone i had saved a while ago if you want that exact png you can get it out the description Now it's just time to resize, move things around, and get the placement right before we add the rest of the text. On Canva, they do have um, an iPhone template under elements and the frames, but sometimes I do like using the PNG that I have and just resizing my photos myself instead of the drag and drop. Sometimes I think it just looks better. now you see it's starting to come together a little bit i'm gonna use the original to help me with the sizing for the second iphone just to make sure everything's in the right spot since you don't have the original to constantly go back and check sizing and placement and all that just take your time and don't rush it Make sure you zoom in and get them corners for the phones. You don't want your the, the corner of your picture sticking out on the side of the phone. That's not gonna look good. We're gonna duplicate the tag us again, change it to the join our email list and fix the line spacing and letter spacing to 109 and then keep it at 0.88. Now I'm adding the QR code that I created myself. Um, and when you scan it, it actually takes you to my Etsy shop. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I made it for free so you can do the same thing. Now I'm on Google and I'm going to type in free QR code generator. I went to the first website after the ads, but any of them will really work. Copy and paste your URL and then it's gonna generate the QR code. And all you have to do is download it and upload it to Canva. Now I'm back in Canva and we're gonna finish up the back. All we have to do is finish adding the text and then add the social media part. I'm adding the text and I'm gonna change the font. I'm 
Now that I added that little bit of text, I'm going to make the part where you put your code at. So I'm going to go to elements and the shapes and get a square and resize it into a rectangle. Now that I have the right size, I'm going to change the color to black and then turn the transparency down to 45. So it's that gray color. Now for the rest of this, it's basically copy and paste the text. So I'm not gonna talk through it. I'm just gonna let you watch and see. Um, you can see all the fonts and the sizing and everything on the screen. And I'll come back when I get to the icon part. Now for the icons, this part is pretty simple. I'm just going through Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter and finding the PNGs that I like. And I'm gonna size them and line them up, make sure it's an equal amount of space and then add the text underneath. Now that everything's on there, this is your time to really go through, zoom in, make sure everything is spaced the right way, placed in the right spot, make sure you didn't miss anything and just kind of go over since you have the full picture.
now I got both sides done and we're finally finished I hope you enjoyed this video if you're interested this template is available on my Etsy shop use the code YouTube to get 10% off don't forget to like comment and subscribe